Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm gonna put the comment of the day up and if you guys wanna take part in that, all I have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. As you guys can tell, we are in Belladonna Cove and I am going to create a current household. I just filmed some Sims 2 a couple days ago and I wanted to have my own current household in Sims 2 because it's been a very, very long time. And since so far, knock on wood, the pink glitch has not kind of been here. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to get through this. So I am gonna go ahead and create a sim and bring you guys along. I haven't played in Belladonna Cove in a very, very long time. It was either between this or River, River Blossom Hills and I kind of chose this because I just wanna get into some apartments. And then I was noticing over here, I'm pretty sure these are trailers. Oh my goodness, so my sim is definitely gonna live there. So the plan is to go to university because I want my sim to be able to create a lot of money uh, and I want her to get a good job. So we're gonna jump into families and we're gonna create a sim and I'm going to create a parent because I'm gonna start with a teen and have her kind of go through school and do, you know, do that whole thing. Uh, but we're going to have to have a parent in the house. And I'm honestly probably just going to randomize a parent because I'm not going to be too concerned about it. But maybe I, maybe I, maybe I'll create like a, a single mom with a teenage girl or something. And maybe there will be a story with it. But I am very excited to create a family for myself to have because I have one in Sims 3, I have one in Sims 4, and it's nice to kind of rotate back and forth, especially if I'm filming one or, you know, one or the other more, I kind of want to take a break from it and I never get into my current household. So if I'm filming more Sims 4 one week or Sims 3, I can jump into Sims 2. So let's go ahead and create a Sim. We're gonna start with the teen, I think. And I believe I have, a base simmer yes i have this sim right here who is very very cute and then also this one but this is a sim i kind of wanted to play with uh but this girl is also super cute and look how sassy i love it so much oh my gosh now i can't decide do i want to play her or do i want to play her i think i'm gonna play her yeah we're gonna we'll see i might change it we're gonna play her and i need a name for her so i'm gonna have to think about it because i can't randomize and i love randomizing the names so we're just gonna go ahead and go with it so obviously you can change the head which is this one right here i'm just gonna keep it and i am probably gonna change her hair i don't know if i'll do too much about her face or makeup i'm probably gonna change her eyebrows uh but i don't think i'm gonna do a whole whole lot to be completely honest so let me see what kind of hairs we have i actually kind of liked the updo style on her but let me see what do we want to do i kind of want to keep the blonde i think and hopefully i'm going to be able to find something i think this is kind of what she had. I actually might just keep that for her. Uh, we also have this one too, which is really, really cute. So maybe I'll go with that or even the bangs. I don't know if I like that one though. I might go with this one for now. Uh, so her face, her brows, I'm not going to do anything except for change her eyebrows, not like really how they're shaped. Her mouth, you guys already know what I'm going to do because I'm just, I love my Sims having juicy lips because I don't know why because I wish I had them. Uh, so makeup, I think I'm gonna change her lip color. The only thing that's bugging me about her makeup is that like harsh line there. I, I don't know if I really like that, so I might have to take that off. Uh, let me see how many different, oh, we're in the wrong section here. So let me see how many things that she has. Is this what it is? Okay, but see, maybe, maybe do life, maybe, uh, Maybe that, no. Okay, so I don't know how I'm feeling without that. Maybe it's, you know what? I think I am gonna go ahead and take off all the makeup and kind of do everything my myself. First, I'm gonna go ahead and change her eyebrows uh, to something else. Um, maybe, maybe those are a little softer. Those, are, maybe I do need to change her eyebrow shape. Maybe it is something about her eyebrow shape. That's a bit so, much. So far, this is kind of what I have for her eyes. I chose whatever this is right here. And then for her um, eyelashes, I chose that one. And I kind of want to give her like a nude lip kind of. 
possibly maybe a gloss maybe not uh, let's see that one's kind of nice and you know what maybe i'll go with this one i'm still having trouble i've been going through Oh, okay, so that gave her, like, the little mouth um, crease there. Uh, but I have been going through all of these for her um, her blush and stuff because it also has, like, eyeliner and things. And I haven't really found one that I enjoy. I've just been kind of literally clicking through all of them because I have a whole bunch of just random CC that I have downloaded. And, okay, so that actually kind of made her eyes look a little more realistic, didn't it? Maybe I'll keep that. And that makes her lashes a little bit more okay. But I need some sort of blush or something for this girl. But none of them are really, like, screaming out to me. And I feel like the one was just too much because it was very harsh. So maybe I'll just not give her that. Okay, she can have a little highlight on her nose. Cute. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of blush stuff. I might just have to go with... Okay, see, there's these. I used to use these a lot, but I'm not sure how I feel about those. So maybe I'll just do something like that on her and give her a rosy cheek because I don't really see anything else. Like, that's... Nah, that's too much. I'm just going to roll with that, what we have here. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do any sort of costume makeup or anything. Uh, and I might come back to take a look at like the necklaces and stuff, but I think I'm gonna just kind of leave things as they are for the moment. Let me see, do I have any miscellaneous? I guess I do not. All right, so let's go to her clothing really quick and see. Sorry guys, my chair is popping. I have my old chair because Binks has my good chair per usual. So, so I'm Sorry kind of filtering that. through the outfits because I don't have a lot of teen outfits that I kind of want her to be super girly. I actually think this one is cute, but I kind of have the vibe of her being like really girly and maybe like people underestimating her and thinking, oh, she's just like a dumb blonde, but she's really actually really smart, but she also is going to probably get into trouble because I love my Sims getting into trouble. This is super cute too. I actually really like that one. Um, I'm not really feeling that one so much for her. That's a cute outfit there. That is like a very 2000s, like early 2000s outfit, I feel. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one or this one. I think I like this one. I like the little flowers. So we're gonna go with that one and let's check some formal. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't even know. So don't even formal, know. we have either that one or this one, and I feel like this one suits her way more. This actually looks like something you would wear to a wedding, and she looks very cute. Alrighty, undies, we're going to see what we have here for custom content. We have little piglet and some flowers and something with a little bear on it, and then this little frilly thing, and this one's super cute. It's got a little Hello Kitty or that one. I think I'm gonna go with this one here with the flowers and stuff, and then for our PJs, we have the same options. And then we've got like these. I think I'm going to do something like that for her, her PJs. We'll go with pink. We're just going to have a pink vibe, which is kind of funny. Uh, so swimwear, we have this one. I like using the custom content a lot. Uh, that one or that one. I kind of like this one in the colorful. I think I'm going to go with that one. And for athletic wear, we don't have a lot of choices. This is actually a cute one, but I kind of want to see if they have it in, they, they do, they have it in pink. She's going to be a very pink girl. And for our outerwear, this one is actually cute too. Uh, is this a, is this like an actual sim outfit like that was in the game or is this a CC? It is. Okay. So it's one of the sim ones. I actually like that. Um, I think, oh, that reminds me of Beetlejuice, that scarf. We we love it. Sandworm. Okay, we've got a bright pink, which I kind of like the white boots. Maybe I'll go with white uh, and then the white boots because I think I like the white boots better. We also have this one. I think I'm going to go with the white one. I like that one better, I think. Yeah, we're going to go with that. And then I'm going to choose her aspiration and her personality and then turn ons and turn offs. So I want her to be pretty outgoing. So maybe, so she's an Aries is what it gave us. I don't want her to be so serious though, or grouchy. So maybe I'll take away and make it a little more even because I don't really want her to be grouchy or, or mean. Uh, so 
for her aspiration. Pleasure aspiration. I haven't really gone too much into that one, but I feel like either a romance or fortune would be good for her. Super popular. I'm terrible at making friends at uh, in Sims 2 or in general. Um, then we have knowledge aspiration. I mean, maybe we can go with that, but I feel like maybe romance will get her into a little more trouble because I feel like that's what she's gonna get into a little bit of trouble when she is going away to college. So turn-ons, let's do, um, for turn-ons, let's do brown hair and maybe a hard worker because she, you know, she probably wants a rich sim, someone that is, you know, doing good in their job. And turn off, we're going to go ahead and select uh, unemployed because I don't think she would like that. I need to think of a name for her and a name for the family. Who does she look like? I need to look up. I need to look up some names because I am terrible at just like thinking of them off the top so of my head. So I kind of was just making her mother off camera. I randomized her and I kind of got a vibe and she's going to be more of the snobby parent, you know, the one that's more involved with her life and I think that's why maybe Maybe our girl will probably end up acting out, but she's, I, I kind of like was thinking and just the story was kind of going through my head, nothing too serious, but you know, oh, and I also named her, um, what did I name her? Oh my God. Uh, Ella Carter. And then her mother is Charlotte Carter, but her mother is going to probably be in the politics career and kind of be like really hard on Ella and like pushing her to do this and to do that and to work hard. And she wants to work hard, but I think she's gonna maybe rebel a little bit because her mom is like forcing her and wants her to go into what she's doing instead of letting Ella kind of do what she wants to do. That's kind of kind of a little story I, I'm, I'm thinking of, um, but we are gonna be starting in a trailer park even though she looks like she's rich because I wanna live in a trailer park. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and accept this family. Oh, we have, to, we have to edit, I forgot. Okay, so let's go ahead and make child of, perfect. And we're gonna get my sim kind of started out. So I'm not going to follow Charlotte's story too much. I kind of just want to play with my one sim and, you know, take her, you know, and go to her life and stuff like that. But uh, I'm, I'm going to maybe have her mother be, you know, an overbearing parent, one that's very pushy and maybe something happens to her. I don't know. Maybe we can just kind of, you know, get rid of her. Uh, but I do want to live in this trailer park. So we're going to move into an empty apartment. I love these apartments over here because it has like a little playground and stuff. I've never played in this trailer park. So that's kind of why I want to live here. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it. We're going to move into this household and I guess pick out one of the empty, empty apartments slash trailers i'm so happy about. so we're pulling up to the trailers and i'm already excited just looking at this like i'm already very very excited so let's see which ones are empty we're gonna need obviously enough room hopefully there is gonna be enough room in these for two okay so this is just a one bedroom but i actually really like that one but i don't know if i'm gonna use it so i'm also kind of thinking in the story from them living in a trailer park, you know, like her mother is, you know, obviously pretty high up or going to be pretty high up in the political career, but she's also struggling. So maybe she's kind of putting on a fake face and saying that she has all this money, but she's actually really struggling to take care of her and her teenage daughter. Uh, this is just some things I'm just throwing up in the air and that are kind of popping in my head. Now, this one has a two bedroom. That one is 1,238 simoleons. This one is 873, so it's a little cheaper. This one is 1,000. This is a very cool one, but this is not their vibe. I don't feel like that that particular one is their vibe. Uh, we also have this one that's less like a studio. This one is 828 simoleons. I'm trying to decide. And oh, somebody lives here. Okay, so basically. This one will be fitting for them, but at the same time, like, do I want to have them, like, share a bedroom and just be like, you know, they're, like, really, really struggling? And maybe her mom's kind of avoiding the fact that they're they're struggling as much as they are. 
I, I don't know. I kind of like this one though. So maybe I will go with the bigger one just so Ella can have her privacy. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and rent this apartment. And yes, we want to rent that one. What does she want to do? She, she wants to see Ella as an overachiever and get a scholarship. So she's already, she's already there. And what is on Ella's mind? Have a very first kiss. <laughs> have her very first kiss. That's all she can think about. So thanks for renting this apartment. You were charged your first week. Okay, great. Thank you. And to do every Monday. Great. Love it so dang much. So our neighbors are over here. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to our neighbors because I don't know who lives there and maybe maybe they have a teenage son or something that we can kind of chat with. Uh, excuse me. Do not stare at me. Can you please walk away? Is that the... Okay. That's That must be our... Um, person we, you know, give the money to. So I was also thinking that maybe, maybe her mother kind of gets into a lot of trouble too. Like, you know, like spending more time worrying about men than actually her daughter. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. This, first of all, where the fuck is the bed? Where do you sleep? Do you sleep on like where's your where is your bed i'm very confused she 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 doesn't have a bed to sleep on she has no bed this is very interesting anywho um what i'm so confused she doesn't have a bed in here where anywho okay we're gonna just look past that but this apartment is actually perfect for her. This is her vibe. It's very pink. <gasps> but where the fuck do you sleep, lady? What is your name? Jessica Peterson. Where do you sleep? On the couch? I know you are not sleeping on this couch. I know that you are not. Anyway, we have some neighbors that are visiting from what the notification said, but where the, I don't see them. This is, is this a neighbor? Is, that's, what are they doing? What, oh my goodness. He's going to be one of those really, really annoying people, isn't he? I can already see it now. I don't even want to pay this man. Uh, but yeah, this is her apartment. And our apartment, I'm going to have to furnish with a bed or two beds and a table. But I'm so obsessed with this. I wish this one was available. I might have to redecorate to have this kind of vibe because I'm here for it. But I need you to kind of take care of your needs and get yourself together here. Mom, what are you doing? Are you still talking to this man? She's probably going to sleep with him. I bet you anything. We are going to woohoo with this man because she is just that type of person, aren't you? You are going to woohoo with him. I can see it now. This bald ass man. So I got a bed in both the rooms and also a chair. I am, or a chair, a table and chairs. I'm not going to really decorate too much because I want to just kind of get into playing, but I kind of want her whole place to look like this. I kind of want her to live in this one. I might have to kick that lady out. Oh my gosh, Mr. 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 Humble. Mr. Humble is here with our PC. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to have her work on some school stuff. Obviously, she won't go to school. At, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can you actually go to school right now? <gasps> Can you go to school right now? I will have your mother take care of this. And what, who is she talking to now? She's playing catch with somebody. Who are you? Who is this person? Christopher. Oh, okay. We're just kind of doing a thing, hanging out with Christopher. He looks like a pretty serious kind of guy, but I'm going to have her use the bathroom and then we're going to open up our PC and find somewhere to put it. I mean, I guess we can put it there, but we're not going to have the space. I could always get rid of this closet probably and put it in her room or put it right here, here. That's kind so of So we have plan. our PC kind of placed down and oops, I did not mean to do that. Put that back. No, put it back how it was. Why is it? Why are we not? Why are we not getting this? Can can we? There we go. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have her find her job. We're going to find a job and then hopefully our girl will come home with some homework and can get her her grade improved. What are we doing here? Did I? Uh, oh, my God. When did you put that in there? You were about to put the whole freaking trailer on fire. I did not ask you to cook this whatever this is. This looks real gross. Not gonna lie. Girl, she's finally doing? coming over here to take a look and see if we can find a job. Like I said, political or business would probably be good for her. Well, even law could be good as well. Let's see what there is to offer today because 
we need we so need something. none of the jobs that i wanted for her were available so i am gonna go ahead and take the law career as her job and i can always change it so i'm gonna go ahead and take this so it's 8 a.m to 4 p.m so that will be her job for her and i also kind of want to get herself kind of lined up here with the uh, this here right here the aspiration so i feel like this would probably be maybe her thing or life of business instinct maybe this i'm gonna go with this one right here and then a skilled negotiator and that will be her uh, little aspiration reward stuff there so we're just kind of waiting for oh she's actually home now okay you got home from school does it say anything you're still a c minus so there's that we're gonna have to have you do your homework you gonna do your homework? Can we maybe ask our mother for help on her homework? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to have a current household in Sims 2 now. I am very excited. I can't wait to see where their stories go. I should probably quit filming because I have a feeling this is gonna be a very long video, but maybe not by the time I cut out all of the in-between stuff. But this is kind of cute. She's she's asking her mom for help and she is helping. She's probably more than likely like pushing her and saying, girl, don't you get it? You have to go to college. Like, come on, girl. Uh, what does she want to do? Get a job in the slacker career, flirt and ask a sim on a date. Well, we don't really know anybody yet. I'm hoping she will eventually maybe have a friend come home with her and you know maybe we can go from there but for now i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and i am just gonna continue to play this current household let me know if you guys want to see some updates on this current household pretty excited to get into it and have a sims 2 uh household to myself so don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe turn on your post notifications all of the fun stuff i love you all and i'll see you in the next video